Hey everyone, and welcome to Sonic Adventure DX. The first Sonic game I ever played, still on my original disc that I got way back as a small child. Oh god, I have not played this game in so long, but I am so excited to start this. Oh, oh, this is a blast from the past. Hello there, we are starting off with our first boss, Chaos Zero, just to get a brief handle on the controls. For Chaos Zero, we want to double jump to homing attack into the brain whenever the brain is glowing and exposed. Three hits and we're done. Not a hard first boss. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! <laughs> huh? What can I do with you? Well, we just can't get a break. We fight a weird water monster one night, and the very next day our best friend crashes. Well, before we go off to save him, I'm sure he's fine. Let's talk to people. Can, can we talk to people? They're not gonna let us talk to people. That's actually rather rude. How dare you? All right, let's not get stuck on walls. This game came out of what, 1998 or so? On the Dreamcast? I'm playing the GameCube version because uh, I've never had a Dreamcast. This is the version I have. I'm gonna say it. As glitchy and weird as this game can be sometimes and uh, definitely unpolished in some regards, some pretty notable regards, the controls can be a little bit eh. I think it holds up pretty well and it's really impressive for the time period. Which is odd that I would say that, because normally I don't really judge games from this era by like the standards of the time period. I look at games like Sonic Super Mario 64, I'm like, wow, this does not hold up, but Sonic Adventure DX, it holds up! Especially considering the time period. Welcome to Emerald Coast. Okay, it's uh, beta talk. Uh, you know what, it's fine. Let's head off and fi uh, save Tails. God, I haven't held a GameCube controller in years. This feels weird. This is literally my first time even opening up and playing this game and who knows how long. So it's gonna take me a little bit before I'm fully back in the action, fully up to speed with how to control this correctly. Love to immediately fall right off and miss the spring that I was aiming for. 
Okay, yeah, it's a little bit loose, the uh, controls. Eh, we'll get the hang of it. All right, let's homing attack into that spring so that it, uh, we don't miss it. Oh God, help, we're out of control. Please leave Sonic alone. All right, so Sonic, uh, if you've not played a Sonic game before, um, or, you're, or if you're not familiar with Sonic, Blue Hedgehog, lots of animal friends, uh, lives in a world populated like partially by his animal friends, partially by humans. Depends on the continuity though. Some, some variations of Sonic. It's just the animal friends. Main antagonist is Dr. Robotnik, Ivo Robotnik, also known as Eggman. Uh, Eggman likes to kidnap little animals and use them to power his machines, which he's using for world domination. Sonic is a radical environmentalist at heart and very much would like to free the animals. So that's what we're going to be working on. Well, that's what, gonna be one of the main things we do. Whenever we defeat one of Eggman's robots, an animal friend will be released, we'll save them. Sonic's main gimmick is he loves to go fast. He's a hedgehog that can run at the speed of sound. I think sometimes he can run at the speed of light. I don't know. Listen, I love Sonic, but it was never one of my big special interests. Like I know it was for a lot of my autistic friends. My goodness, the Sonic fandom has a lot of autistic people with really major special interests in this series. Can't blame them. It's really good. It's great autism bait. It gets us for a reason. It just didn't get me to quite ex the same extent. Okay, carefully navigate into that upper path. And I think, I think coming up, we might actually hit one of the glitch. No, nope. I'm thinking of something else. There's uh, definitely a few glitches in this game. It's not unheard of for you to just fall right through the ground and die, especially on loop the loops. All right, you get, no! Screwed by the homing attack. Oh, and I had so many rings too. This sucks. All right. Well, rings basically act as a temporary health system for Sonic. If you get hit while you have rings in your inventory, uh, then you will simply lose the rings, but you can get them back by running into them. If you get hit while you have no rings, you die. So it's an all or nothing kind of system. But the more rings we have, the better. I think if we get 100 rings, we get an extra life. Okay, right here we are. No, where am I thinking of? I am thinking, no, I'm not thinking of here. Where am I thinking of? There is somewhere in this level where I just usually tend to fall right off the stage. You knock that off with the bombs. Please die, there we go. Yeah, no, there is a loop-de-loop. -loop. We may have already passed it a while ago, actually. There's a loop-de-loop -loop in the stage where I always fall right through it. All right, well, I was talking right through the tutorial, so. There we go. Just keep jumping on the panels so we get all the way through. Give me that animal. We've got four penguins and a bunny. We will be doing something with those animal friends we're freeing soon. It won't be in this video, but maybe something related to this video coming soon. Yes! Not bad. We could have had so many rings. Hey, Sonic. Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got a really power, you know. So I figured, why not 
use it to power my plane. Supercharge! You gotta come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've gotta show you. It's in the Mystic Ruins, the fastest way by train. Let's go! All right, prototype plane didn't work out so well, fair enough. We met Tails, our good friend Tails. We saw at the end of the stage that it said we cleared level C and we got an emblem out of that. Emblems are like the main indicator of completion in this game. Get all the emblems and you've completed the game 100%. Uh, every level you can go in to do three different challenges for three different emblems, I think. Uh, but I'm not going to be going for all the emblems. They are optional, they're optional challenges, I'm not too worried about it. And unfortunately the beach is closed till further notice anyway, so we won't be able to right now in the first place. But yeah, if you want to go back and do the extra challenges for the rest of the emblems, go for it. I'm just not going to. Alright, what does this TV have to tell us? From now on, the casino is only open at night. Alright, fair enough. So, Tails invited us to his workshop at the Mystic Ruins. Then we're gonna need to take the train. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. I really do like... There's a lot of little itty-bitty subtle quality of life features in this game that are not explained, but they're really, really natural in the way they're implemented. Frequently throughout the game, we're gonna need to take the train to go to various locations. Uh, whenever the train, whenever we are meant to go on the train in order to head on to our next destination, the announcer will actually tell us, hey, the train's departing soon when we come into the train station. It's, re it's a really subtle, and well, not subtle, but it's a really small thing that's really natural and works well in the game. Okay. Made it to the Mystic Ruins. Let's get exploring. Okay. I need to start using L and R to change the camera instead of the C stick. Tails workshop should be around here somewhere. It sure should. Also, annoying. The camera controls are reversed. I'm trying to move the camera left. I'm trying to move the camera right. Why is the camera controls reversed? How dare you? All right. Well, Tails workshop is not too hard to find. Just need to climb up here and. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic. Look, it's a giant talking egg. Science. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got big plans. And now I'm gonna put them to work. You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the chaos that rules. Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! Our first boss against Eggman in his Egg Hornet. All right then, hello there, Eggman. If you will just come down here, the main gimmick with Eggman fights is you always want to hit Eggman's cockpit. If you can hit the cockpit, that'll do damage to him. Well, good news, he went and dug himself into the ground so he couldn't move. Perfect for us to hit him. All right, so a bit of advice if you're a newer player to Sonic Adventure or any Sonic game. Uh, whenever you're in a boss fight in particular, there's going to be a bunch of rings around the field. Grab a few, but not all of them. I grabbed all of them because I'm feeling cocky, even though I really shouldn't be. Uh, but if you get hit and don't have a chance to get your rings back, you want to have some of those extra rings available to pick up in a pinch. But any rings you drop from getting hit, those will despawn after a little bit, so, uh... Don't rely on being being able to get him back. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Oh no! Come on, Chaos! Time to eat! Chaos? Oh no, isn't that the same monster I saw the other day? we have our goal. Get the Chaos Emeralds so Eggman can't feed them to this Chaos creature. Alright, now that we've gone ahead and dealt with the Egghead, what did you want to show us, Tails? Or is it not too important? Are we going to just focus on the Chaos Emeralds now? I suppose we're going to be focusing on the Chaos Emeralds. So on that note, next time on Sonic Adventure! Well, next time we continue the story, we're going to be looking for Chaos Emeralds so we can keep them away from Eggman. But next time, we're going to start checking out a little fun, famous side mode in this game. I'm going to be doing, for every single episode of the main story of Sonic Adventure, I'm also going to pair it with one episode of about 20 minutes in this side mode. For as long as the game allows us to do so. Here. So, next time, tomorrow, I'll meet everyone over in Station Square as we go check out the Chow Garden.